Bell Hospital recently received a cuddle cot to help grieving families cope with a stillbirth. TV6's Nicole Buckman talked with the women behind the donation and the impact they hope it has on families. The one thing we all wish we could have had is more time with our babies. After losing her daughter Mia, who was a stillborn seven years ago, Annie Skews has tried to cope with her lifelong grief. She attended a stillbirth conference in March and was introduced to the Cuddle Cot, a cooling device that preserves a stillborn baby body. The mat can cool the baby up to five days, giving more time for the family to say goodbye. For me, I think it would have helped my grieving process a lot, um, just to even be able to hold her a little bit longer, give her her only bath. Annie teamed up with Chelsea Gardner, who lost her daughter Everly in June to raise money for a cuddle cot at Bell. The device runs around $3,000 and with the help of a cupcake fundraiser, Superior Electronics, friends and the Bell Foundation, more than enough money came through. Everybody came together during this hard time for all of us. It was really, really touching for all of us and it touched all of our hearts so much and we're so thankful for everybody. Now that Bell Hospital has a cot that can cool stillborn 18 weeks and up, both hope it will help future families. Families that will have to use it, it'll bring peace and some kind of closure. I mean, I know from experience you don't ever really get closure, but I just hope that it helps. The cuddle cot is just the first step with helping families cope here at Bell Hospital. I really want to get more things up here for people that have had losses. Good follow-up care, possibly a support group. For now, the cuddle cot dedicated to both Everly, Vera Marie, and Mia Rose will stay in the OB ready for families who might need it. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Ishpeming.